Hello everyone, today we're gonna do an empties video and I, <sighs> I can't lie, I'm struggling a little bit today. I've been struggling just a little bit lately in general. There's not like a thing, there's no real thing, um, but isn't that the best when there's no reason why? <laughs> or no significant, like really, really significant, it feels like reason why things aren't working with your brain. Like I literally just filmed this look and did a whole video and I just feel like I hate it and I'm just like questioning everything and okay. Anyway, that means time for empties. Time to talk about all the trash I have in front of me so much. There's a lot, uh, I don't think I've done one this year yet. So three months in, we, we got a lot going on. So I'm excited to talk about this. I hope you guys are doing well, you know? It can be it can be a lot sometimes, you're not alone. I hope you guys are doing well, sending you my love. Seriously, that's how I feel right now. But yeah, let's dive into it in no particular order, let's go. Starting off with this skincare item from Pharmacy. This is the Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser. I got this through Box. BoxyCharm. Anytime I get pharmacy products through BoxyCharm, I am happy about that because I feel like pharmacy is a pretty expensive brand. I always want to try more from them, but this I did not like actually. The consistency on this was like a squeeze tube balm cleanser. You know the solid cleansers people use? I can't think of the name of them, but those ones. I mean, Pharmacy themselves has like a really famous, popular, I think they're just called balm cleansers. Anyway, um, it was kind of that consistency, but this, it would get in my eyes and it would burn my eyes. I used it mostly in the shower um, and I didn't feel like it was getting my makeup off very well, surprisingly. And I also felt like it stripped my skin. Like my skin felt like, squeaky in a bad way. Like not all my makeup was off, but now my skin feels like I just put a bar of soap on it. So yeah, not my favorite product. I'm glad I used it up, but I would definitely not use it again. I do not want to use that again. We're starting off strong with hand soap. I have a lot. I have like four of these from Bath and Body Works, the Terracotta Canyon hand soap. It's back. I think it still might be back at uh, Bath and Body Works. It came out last year and I don't want to harp on and on, but this is like the best smelling hand soap at Bath and Body Works that they've ever come out with. Okay, it smells expensive. It smells like a spa. It's amazing. It has notes of golden amber, desert jasmine, and warm sandalwood. If you like a woody kind of spa, relaxing, expensive, luxurious scent in your life, if that's what you're looking for for a hand soap, I am telling you to go check this out. I bought so many backups because it's my favorite hand soap from Bath and Body Works, and Sam really likes it, and we go through it, and I'm realizing from my empties, I think we might wash our hands like a lot. Like I think we, you know, borderline have issues with germs because we both do like we, <laughs> we wash our hands a lot. It works for us, I guess, but we go through a lot of soap because of it. Another soap off the top. Oh, it's crusty. That's like the thing with empties, like oh, all this crusty stuff. Can't wait to get rid of it. Okay, Aesop's hand soap, the Reverence Aromatique hand wash. If you are looking for a bougie upgrade to your soap and you want something with a little exfoliating properties, little scrubby bits in it, this is the soap to go to. This also smells like a spa. It smells super herbal. You might not like that, but I think it's so nice and refreshing. Sam, my cheap husband, husband Sam who you know he could eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for the rest of his life to save money like he doesn't like spending money is what I'm trying to get at right <laughs> this is his favorite soap he thinks it's like kind of worth it so I'm just saying like I feel like that's a big stamp of approval I'm over here you know like I love a little bougie option here and there right I like that I feel like he is not as susceptible to the marketing and not as susceptible to you know the vibe you know the aesthetic and he also loves this so I'm just saying I feel like that means it's actually really good still. I feel like it's even more proof of that. It's so good. This is the hand soap I prefer to have the most, but the Bath and Body Works one smells good, so it works itself out. All right, enough hand soap for now at least. This is from Dr. Jar. I just finished this up and I really loved it. I got it through Yes Style and I want another one, I think. This is the Sikapair Cream Creme. It's green and it's not super green, but I do think it's supposed to have like some redness reducing qualities about it. I would actually wear this this at night and I would put a, quite a bit of it on just to really like lock in all my different serums and different things that I would do. And my 
my skin just felt so smooth and plump and I would wake up and it wouldn't feel greasy but it was definitely very hydrated and smooth and soft and just kind of overall it didn't feel like irritated I don't think I like wake up with like irritated skin that much but I definitely have like more sensitive skin and this definitely just made my skin feel nice hydrated and just calm like I do I think it's supposed to do that and I really feel like it was helping you know my skin kind of calm down not only in redness but also just like in feeling and just kind of overall quality so really loved this nice and thick I didn't test it under makeup a ton but I would be willing to to try it it was really really good I think it's kind of expensive but it was really great I went through it kind of fast though like when I was like using this every night I was like <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, but it was really good. Really liked it. Definitely could see myself repurchasing. Oh my gosh, this one makes me so sad. I didn't realize that I'm like out of this scrub from Way. This is like the best scrub. This is the scalp and body scrub, specifically in the St. Bart's smell, which was limited edition, but it's come back. They brought it back and I believe it's permanent now. They also added a body wash as well as a body lotion in the same scent. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you're looking, I mean, I'm gonna be doing a Sephora like sale guide for you guys. I'll probably, I think I'm gonna do like a bougie. Like these are for your bougie picks. Like, like get a discount on the expensive stuff and this is gonna be in there, so. Oh, the smell is so good. Even if you get the original one, it is so good. And the actual scrub itself is just literally almost perfection. Like it is more of a flaky sugar almost. And it really does scrub you. Like you get the scrubs, but it also is like in a gel matrix that's really nourishing and it actually kind of suds up. So it's almost like it's washing your body. And then when you rinse it off, your skin not only feels so soft because you just scrubbed it, it, but it also leaves a little bit of a moisturizing effect behind but not greasy no grease guys absolutely no oiliness okay it's just like a softness I don't it's so good it's so so good I love this and I want another one especially for summer like this scent oh it's so good another favorite this is the fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash I love this thing another great exfoliating product I don't do a ton of physical exfoliants on my skin anymore but this one's gentle enough where I feel like it just does enough and then it kind of melts away fast so because it's actual sugar and not like a particle of something that won't dissolve I feel like it only lasts so long then it washes away into something kind of milky and again leaves your skin just nice so refreshing just mmm Mm, special, special product. I've repurchased that one a lot. All right, I have a little makeup item here. This is the Rowan Brow Pencil. I really love this. I get them from BoxyCharm. I don't think I would spend the full price. These are like $26, but for $6, which I feel like is the price of like any, uh, I don't know, drugstore brow product that's out there, this is really great. It's a nice dry formula, so I can really like draw on my brow hairs. I use the shade medium and normally that would be a little dark, but I kind of like a darker brow. Um, so it works for me and I have so many backups. <laughs> I will never stop using. I've been using this for years at this point. If I can get on a deal, I will get the Rowan product. I just love a Rowan product, you know me, but that's what I love using at that cheaper price point. I don't think that I would spend the full price for it. This is another cream I really enjoyed. This is the All-in-One Beauty Aid Cream from Touch and Soul. I, is Touch and Soul still like a brand? Like I just haven't heard much from them. Another item I got through a BoxyCharm. I get a lot of my makeup through BoxyCharm. This was just another thick cream, like a nice, thick face cream. It didn't feel like it was like clogging my pores or too heavy, but just heavy enough to really moisturize my skin nice. I mean, that's one of the number one things I'm looking for is moisture. <laughs> I really like moisture because although I'm oily, I do uh, get dry patches and I just find my skin does better when it's moisturized, you know? I mean, just because you're oily doesn't mean you shouldn't moisturize. I know that's like a true thing. <laughs> but this also smelled really good. It was also like a spa herbal scent. So it was just really relaxing. And this was so big. It lasted a really long time. It was good. This is a good value. If I found this somewhere, I probably would pick it up again. It's pretty dang good. I used it actually really similarly to how I use that Dr. Jart cream. Ugh. Speaking of skincare, there's so much skincare in here. I am trying to just do better on my skincare. I feel like in general, I've just been trying to do the self-care. I know that skincare isn't only self-care, but for me, it really is when I'm taking the time and you know doing a multiple step routine and doing it consistently and all that, I really see the difference and I really feel good about myself and I really feel like it helps me tackle other things so I've really been trying to focus on 
those little things in my routine to help me do that, like just to help stay regulated and things like that. So anyway, there's a lot of skincare in here. I've also been really trying to keep up with my sunscreen. I've talked about this in other videos, but I don't normally like the uh, feeling of sunscreen. I don't like uh, usually the smell of sunscreen. I never have as a kid. I would always just like avoid, like do not put that on me. I don't normally like something too oily either. I'm working on working through those textural issues in some ways in the ways that I can handle. But the Super Goop is pretty good. This is the unseen sunscreen and I've been using this because I do daily walks every single day and I really want to make sure I'm nice and protected from the sun, especially here too because like my chest just gets so burnt so easily and I'm really trying to just like be good to be good and i'll put this on right in the morning because i do my walks right in the morning when i wake up and i've really enjoyed it this though if it gets in your eyes it's gonna burn you first off it is like a silicone kind of primer feeling like it feels like a primer i don't love it under makeup like after i've been wearing it a while uh, i do get oily with it and sometimes it's okay for a base if i'm not looking for longevity and i'm not like caring as much if it's gonna get oily because it will get oily if i wear this for sure like it works when i'm in a pinch and i'm being lazy for sure as a, a base and to put stuff on top of it but i really like this best just as a sunscreen i've been trying the glow screen out though i just got a mini of it and i've really been loving that probably more than this i like the texture of this but i like the coverage and that little bit of glow that the glow screen gives because it just makes you look like tan and so fresh and like i don't know i just like the vibe of that you know uh, when i'm going out but yeah i'm almost done with that one i'm telling you i've been so good and then i picked up the elf one one of you guys let me know in a comment that elf makes a glow screen kind of as a dupe for the the glow screen of the super goop one. Oh my gosh <laughs> it's like word soup over here okay anyway i would repurchase this i might repurchase this but i also have some k beauty sunscreens that i want to test out first so i might do those before i i buy this but i did enjoy it enough that i would repurchase it and i would suggest it to people too. Oh my, lots of sunscreen talk. Okay, I have a hand cream here. This I got from YesStyle. This is from the brand Sioris, and I did enjoy this. It's called Bringing Back Memories Hand Cream. I love, I'm a sucker for a hand cream in the metal tubes, okay? I just think it's fancy and like an apothecary. Like I just... Love it. But I do hate um, that they sometimes will break like the aluminum tube or whatever it is And so sometimes you can have a little product coming out of the creases But other than that, I just feel like it's a sign of like a little more expensive a little bit nicer quality I don't know, but I, I enjoyed it. It was nice. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't too greasy I tend to use most of my hand creams at night, but I've also been trying really hard to take care of my fingers and my uh, hands because I've been filming little videos with product and oh my gosh, let me tell you, never do you judge yourself more than when you get uh, like microscopically close to your freaking dead skin around your nails. <sighs> oh my gosh, it might help me stop picking uh, myself. Maybe maybe this is what I need to stop picking my fingernails. Anyway, I'm so sorry if the vibe is so weird in this video. I apologize. Okay, another hand soap. This is, I think, the last one I have in this scent. The Pretty Sweet Marshmallow Flurry scent. I believe it's like lavender. Yeah, warm marshmallow, fresh lavender, and smoked woods. I actually really love this. I don't know if I said I loved the last one, but this time around, I did. Mmm, it's so sweet and yummy, but that lavender just sets it off so it's just like a little more elevated. It was great. I really thought this was nice. Nice and like creamy, yet a little smoky, and then a little like fresh and aromatic with the lavender. I want a body mist in this though. I want to spray this on my body at night. That's what I really, really want. I have a lot of candle empties. So this, you guys already know, I did not like the Replica by the Fireplace. Love this scent from Replica. A $65 candle that doesn't have that much throw? Mm -mm. Come on, it smells so good. I love by the fireplace. Oh, that's just like fall memories for sure. It does smell amazing, but I just feel like for $65, you can get the one ounce of the by the fireplace perfume, spray it around your room like a, a, a room spray. Spray it on your favorite blanket, spray it on your clothes, and I promise you'll smell it and it'll smell great. The candle, I just feel like burns so fast. You have to have it in like a small room to really get the full smell of it. And I just feel like, oh, it's just kind of, exp I just want it to be bigger or at least just be like so potent. And I just felt like the combination wasn't there for me for the price point i'd rather just spray my literal perfume around so yeah oh my gosh i'm getting like soot everywhere and i trim my wicks i trim my wicks as much as i can and i still just like 
They all get sooty. Well, not all of them. This one burned pretty good. This is Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. This one has notes of smoldering woods, toasted marshmallow, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. Really great scent. This is very similar actually to By the Fireplace. It's a better budget option. It's not the same. Like it's not as smoky and not as like strong and like doesn't have this depth to it, but it's still good. I love a smoky vanilla type scent. This little candle here, this is just a like a sample essentially that was sent with the sniff order that I made. This is the scent Old Saint Wick. Old Saint Wick. And it's like a pine tree scent. I love a balsam type of uh, candle scent. And I have had my eye on this sniff one for a while. It sounded like I was going to love it. So I ordered the candle and I do, I do love it. And then this is the sample they give because they're just like an online retailer and they do samples. And then if you don't like it, you can send it back without touching the product. And I used this and I felt like it had a great scent throw just for like a tea light. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than a tea light, but I am excited to burn the full candle. I haven't done it yet. We're kind of moving moving into spring and summer here, but I could see myself busting this out in the middle of summer, honestly. Sometimes you just need the scent you want. All right, it's Batiste time dry shampoo. Love this dry shampoo, the volumizing one from Batiste. I don't like the price. I don't know why it's so expensive here. I know that in the UK, it is not this expensive as it is here. I think this bigger bottle is like 12 something. Like what? $12? That's a lot. It just feels like a lot of money to me for something that's supposed to be like drugstore and like more cheap. But that being said, I do love this dry shampoo. You guys already know. I feel like I've fallen into a groove with a new hairstyle and now I'm just sticking to it. And the dry shampoo helps for that, but you know, I don't need it as desperately as I've needed it in the past. Like I need it for the dry shampoo qualities, but I really used to love this because it would volumize a bit and I wanted that volume and I wanted that, you know, lift and all that. Cause I was like doing buns with like four hairs. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna try to get a voluminous, beautiful bun uh, off of three hairs. And I, you know, to my credit, I made it work, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess, but um, I kind of just stick to my same hairstyle and it's a little more slick, so I don't necessarily need the volume. I still appreciate it, don't get me wrong. But anyway, I like this, you guys know. This is like, I how many years, how many years? Um, My deodorant, in case you're wondering, is the Dove one. I just keep it simple, got it at Costco in a four pack. I'm not burning my underarms today with no natural deodorant. My underarms can't handle it, okay? If you can and they keep you from being stinky, God bless me. No, 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 no. They burn my underarms so bad. I feel like in general, my underarms are just super sensitive. So I just stick to what works. All right, so more skincare. I have this peach and lily matcha pudding. I actually repurchased this because it was in the 21 days of beauty for Ulta. So I got this and I got uh, the other thing that was on there, the lactic acid serum. I think it is, um, I love this. I think it's a great moisturizer. It's actually green. And I feel like it gives me again, a little bit of those kind of redness reducing properties. Not a ton. It's not like actually like opaquely green and any real way, but just that tiny bit. It's moisturizing without being too heavy. I can wear this under my makeup and it works. It also works for Sam. So I really, really love this. I think the glass, yeah. I also finished up the glass skin refining serum and I really loved this. This is another thing I would repurchase. This adds a lot of moisture to my skin without anything heavy. It's like liquidy. It's like slightly, and I mean like slightly, slightly more viscous than water. And it really just like is a drink of water for your skin. It's so good. And I love like locking this in with like another serum and then going in with the moisturizer. Um, so this I'll repurchase at some point. Really have enjoyed these products. I feel like Peach and Lily is just a solid pickup for me. Kind of like Glow Recipe. Like they're both really, really nice to my skin and also my husband's skin. I have a conditioner here. I never go through or rarely. I rarely go through hair conditioners because like I've mentioned, I have just very little hair and my hair can't handle a lot of moisture at all. Like my hair is a type of hair that will be greasy by the end of the day. Like if I take a shower at night and then I wake up the next morning, it could be greasy. Like <laughs> Why? I just don't have enough hair on my head to sop up the grease, honestly. Anyway, I didn't use this as an actual conditioner. I used it to tone down a hair dye. So I used it kind of as like a, a mixing agent in a way. Um, the hair color that I've been using probably for the last almost year, if not more than a year, when I do my hair pink is the insert name here, Care Bear Love A Lot Bear, I believe is this one. But I also had some from the regular line left that is a little bit of a deeper like magenta pink and I was trying to lighten that but it still made my hair so pink. My ideal hair, you guys, would be a cotton candy, really light 
just tinted blonde pink hair. That's what I want, but whenever I do my hair, it just always takes way more and it's always really, really strong and pigmented and it almost makes my hair a little bit darker. So I'm working on it. I'm gonna go back pink. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but I just want that tiny tint, like the tiniest, tiniest hint of pink to my hair. That's like my ideal, at least right now. I feel like it's still fun, but it's a little bit more refined for what I'm liking nowadays. And I feel like also when my hair is really pink like that, I have to just fix how I do my makeup entirely because of color theory. So it's like my hair is now a little bit darker. It's a totally different tone. It's pink. It's not a light blonde. And so different colors like look good on me, different blushes, the way bronzers look like everything changes in how I do my routine. And I feel like just that tinge of pink, that tint of pink would be perfect. So that's what I hope to get to at some point, just keeping that in and finding the perfect ratio where I can get that same outcome every time. Cause that's the issue. And I don't want to have to pay a billion dollars. So I'm not going to like go to a hairstylist. Fun fact, I've never gone to a hairstylist before because my mom's a hairstylist. So she's the only person that's ever cut my hair, dyed my hair. I've never had anyone else do it. And I am so lucky. <laughs> I am beyond lucky, okay? I have some more candles here. I don't think I've talked about these. So if I have, I am sorry, but I wanna definitely talk about this one from Boy Smells. This is the Rhubarb Smoke Candle. If you're into a smoky scent, this one is amazing. If you like things like Mahogany Teakwood from Bath & Body Works, but you're looking for something a little bit smokier, a little less cologne like Axe Cologne. This has like a refined, sexy, smoky smell. Oh, it is so good. Sam loves it. I love it. This is a really good one for like fall. It's a little bit heavier, so I would suggest it for those colder months, but man, it is so good. I will definitely be repurchasing this candle. I really like the Italian Kush one as well. That's, I'm gonna get for summer, I think, because it's a, a cannabis like citrus smell and it sounds so nice and refreshing for summer. Oh my gosh, this candle I finally freaking finished. I feel so good so accomplished the earl gray and blackberry candle from scentford i don't even think they make candles anymore they have a whole candle club thing now i think you get like a monthly candle but i don't think they do their own candles they used to do their own candles their own hand creams and matching scents yeah that was a while ago but anyway i've had this for forever and this is a pretty good scent it's definitely uh like a tea a uh, blackberry kind of a juicy tea smell. It's really nice. Um, I did enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but these were so potent. They were very fragrant candles. I felt like they really filled up a room for being a one wick and this small, I mean, they packed a punch. I was really happy with the quality actually. These are really great. Um, if somehow you see them or they're somehow still available, they were really, really good candles. Um, and I finally finished that one up. The other one that I had was a pine scent and that one was really, really great as well. Again, had really great scent throw. Felt like it lasted forever. I didn't need to burn it a long time. It was just wonderful. We're kind of close to the end. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you guys can just chill out to this video. But another hand soap here. This is the Bronzed Sunset Hand Soap. And this has notes of exotic coconut, island waves, and soft musk. This feels like you're staying at a resort on the beach and you're gonna go pick up towels and they're striped. That's what they, it reminds me of. And you're gonna go like lay out by the beach, like the hotel's portion of the beach. I don't even think I've ever stayed at a hotel like that, but um, that's what I picture from like a movie, I guess. Anyway, it's kind of like suntan lotion. It's a little bit clean, but still coconutty and fruity, like still kind of like fun clean, you know? Not my favorite. I would not pick that one up again. Like it's not bad, but I wouldn't get it again. With the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which I've finished up the full one of this too. So just imagine that in here. This is the sample that got me to buy the full size and now I'm already out of the full size and I will be purchasing that again. This is just a good texturizing spray. It smells first off amazing. Just like that nice like bougie hair product smell, man. So good. And one of those smells that like just stays in your hair and it just like whiffs around you and like everyone can smell. It smells so good. It's an expensive product, but if you're looking for texture specifically, it is just a nice one. And you know, I've tried so many texturizing products. We've, we've covered this, I think at this point, but I have tried so many texturizing products products and sometimes it just costs more money trying new products and they don't work than just going with the one that's actually really good that you feel good using you want to use every time I just I've had that happen so many times with products where I'll go for like cheaper options or try something new um, or try something yeah cheaper to try to like offset the cost and like at the end of the day I always want to reach for the one that I know works regardless of price and so then those other ones just kind of like they don't work as well they don't work as well like sometimes when it's like a, a need it feels like a need type of product, not just a want, not just like an extra. 
sometimes you just like go with the one that works for you. Another candle here from Bath and Body Works. This one is the Strawberry Snowflake scent. I really enjoyed this one, especially for winter. It's Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream and Iced Bergamot. And it really was like whipped cream, like a strawberry whipped cream scent. That's what I would say, but it's like a refrigerated strawberry whipped cream. So it was a little cold, a little stiff. It didn't have like a ton of warmth coming off of it, but I feel like that worked. It was just really, really nice. If you like the strawberry pound cake scent, it's kind of like that, but a little bit colder, I would say. I have a few little samples here. This was another sample of the V lighter from Valentino, that primer you guys know I love so much. I was just able to get another 100 point perk. So I just did, and I loved it. I loved it just as much. I love this primer. I bought the full size. The sample definitely made me excited to get that one. This is from number seven. It's the Protect and Perfect Intense Serum. I can barely remember this. I just used it up. Um, I got like a number seven uh, skincare set for Christmas and I've been trying out some of the skincare and it's nice. Like I feel like overall it's pretty good, but it's just not my favorite out of other things that I like. Like I don't get as much joy using it. I don't feel like it works quite as well as other things that I've like come to really like in my routine as well as um, there's like a kind of floral scent to all the products that I don't really love. Uh, toothpaste, just normal toothpaste. I don't have bougie toothpaste currently. Wish I did. But don't. <laughs> I have another makeup item. This is the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. That's what I'm wearing today, as well as the Rowan pencil, actually. This is like a go-to for me. I have a few different go-to uh, combinations of products, but if I want a cooler brow, especially on camera, I feel like this looks best on camera because it's like dark enough and it can handle the lights and everything, but it also doesn't pull too warm, which I really like. And this also gives me a more fluffy, separated brow look. I want to dye my brows. I'm gonna do that very, I say that we're gonna actually do it very soon. I'm gonna film that and do it. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna change my life <laughs> and see what it's like to have brows that show up. Like when you wake up, you just have brows on. I cannot imagine. <laughs> Anyway, I love this brow product. I've been through so many of them. If you wanna try them out, sometimes you can get them on BoxyCharm, but if they're not on BoxyCharm or Ipsy now, they're like combined. But um, if not, if you just wanna to go to the website, I do have a code so you can save a little money there, but uh, I love this and I purchase it all the time. I have a little mask here from Kate Somerville. This used to be like the it girl mask, okay? This was the mask everyone used. It is a very, very quick mask. It's the Exfolicate. It says Hollywood's two minute facial. And that's what I remember the marketing being. You literally, need to keep this on only two minutes though because if you do not it will burn the shit out of your skin if you have sensitive skin like me it will burn you down girl okay you will take it off and you will be right you can see where it was where it wasn't <laughs> You gotta be careful. This is one I like to use right before I get in the shower. So I'll like put it on, like start up the shower, get everything ready, jump in the shower, get it off of me. Um, and I don't know if I would, I would maybe repurchase this again. Like I think this is like a hero product for Kate Somerville for a reason. I really have been enjoying masks. You guys, like I used to not have the time for masks. I feel like it's so funny, like so many things that I used to like not get, not understand, not have time for whatever, like I understand it a little bit more. And I think that's so funny how phases of life are like that. I don't know if it's just growing older or again, just kind of like a different part of your life, but I'm like skincare fridges, I kind of get it. Like I kind of want one. Beauty devices and tools. Like I don't know if it's just aging or what, but I'm like, I kind of get, I understand it a little bit more. Like I do masking. I get it a little bit more now that I have a little more mental energy to be able to put toward it. You know, that's how it was with perfume too. I remember talking about House of Siage and being like, oh my gosh, these perfumes are so expensive. Oh my gosh, all this stuff. Like I could never. <laughs> Clown, clown, look at me. I have an insane perfume collection and a whole fragrance channel now. <laughs> like, you know, you just change. So I try not to like judge as harshly, I feel like overall now. Like as I've gotten older, I'm like, I don't know, just like let people like the things that they like. Like who knows, in four years, you might be the person loving that shit too. Okay, anyway, a little life lesson. Um, <laughs> Another way body scrub. This is the original scent actually. Yeah, it's just a little sample size and it was just one body scrub in here. That's all that was in here, but it was glorious and I'm glad I used it. I really liked it. Cocoa floss is still my favorite floss, you guys. I love this. I would get this through the FabFit Fun boxes for like $5, sometimes $4, sometimes $3. But what's really cool about Cocoa Floss, first off, I get grade A remarks from my dentist, okay? They're like, what are you doing? It's going great over here. We love what your teeth are doing for you. I'm like, thank you. So it's like approved, okay? The Cocoa Floss is totally approved. It's a thicker floss. So um, it, you know, you gotta kind of like work it in there. I really feel like it's like getting all that plaque out. 
So you're really doing it. And these are refillable. So like you can just buy the inserts if you want to um, and not have to just keep getting the plastic. And I really like that as well. I'm also obviously down for like weird bougie things that I feel like most people are like, what the hell? Like I love bougie toothpaste and floss and hand soap, okay? A texturizing spray from Puff Me or Design Me. I really like their like spray texturizer that's like a powder spray um, and then I think I picked this up because I was like I want to try that out it was so long ago I bought this with my mom when I was at like Cosmoprof or something that's like where professionals go and get their products so I got it cheaper but uh, I, I don't really remember it's not that good I used up one of the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops I've been back on this and I love it okay I just feel like this really does help with pores I think you guys were telling me that the niacinamide helps with like the pores because you guys know I've been on a journey with my pores trying to make them not look so big and just you know trying to get the glow under control I want I want a controlled glow Okay, I want a controlled glow. I don't want to look super greasy overall. I don't want to look too matte and stiff and like chalky cakey either. It's a balance, you know, but I feel like this really does like even out my skin, just make my skin so good. The dew drops, oh, so good. And I, they come in a jumbo size now. I would just overall, if you know you like it, just get the jumbo size so that way, you know, you get more product and like a better bang for your buck type of thing. All right, we have four more things. This is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub from First Aid Beauty. This is really good if you, struggle with bumps like redness and bumps on your arm like like the kp bumps you know what is it keratin polaris can you tell i'm not a skin influencer anyway it has aha it has like an acid in there to help like unclog those pores and just make everything nice and smooth and i really feel like it helps it kind of smells like shit like it does not smell good but it's almost like a sandpaper like it's like a liquefied sandpaper super thick though um and i really do feel like it helps in a different way than just a scrub on your arms does so if you're struggling i think there are other brands that do it now but I remember like the first day beauty one being one of the first ones I remember coming to market and I do think it really works so I would repurchase that for sure especially for summer coming up if that's something you know maybe you just feel a little insecure about and want to fix or I mean you shouldn't feel insecure just like live your life but if you do I get it and I would want my skin to feel nice and smooth too so um, it works really well if that's something you want. Okay, this I didn't like, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. I have all these little samples of Charlotte Tilbury skincare that I got from different orders that I've been placing because I've been buying her expensive eyeshadows that I love. The skincare, not so much. The magic cream doesn't work for me. It's too thick, too hydrating. It makes me oily so, so fast. Like I cannot wear that shit under makeup. And then even at night, I don't love the feeling of that cream specifically at night for me either. So that's a no. The serum, nothing special. The oil, nothing special I don't know the skincare just doesn't work for me personally I mean I'm not complaining because it's expensive but yeah I, I haven't liked any of the samples and I was excited for the samples to try it and you know I've had some good luck recently I feel like with samples really you know convincing me some products are good but those ones not so much this is my little tiny nub of a pencil from pixie this is the uh, liner in rose glow this is the best non black or one of the best I have a lot I want to do like maybe a short or a video on non non black eyeliners that are amazing <laughs> because I want the definition that an eyeliner can give me but I feel like black and even sometimes dark brown is just a little too much for what I'm looking for every day I just want something a little bit softer usually something with a little bit of a shimmer too and this is just like perfection like Oh, it's so good. So if you're looking for something like that, that sounds like something you would like. I do think that this is one you should check out. And the formula is nice and creamy, but it locks down, but it's not like so stiff and locked down in a weird way. Like it's just so, so good. I've repurchased this already and I feel like I'm already like halfway through that pencil. Like I love this Shroom from Urban Decay, like those types of pencils. This one's a little bit warmer though. It's like still kind of a cooler bronze, but it's like more neutral, I guess I would say, than super cool toned and like gray. It's not like that, but but it's also not like a warm bronze either. Really amazing. And last, a mascara. This is the Gucci one, the L'Obscure mascara in Eve Black. Really love this too. This little sample has me wanting a Gucci mascara. <laughs> It works really well. I don't know, I just remember really liking it. And I think I've gone through like two of these samples or at least I'm working on another one currently. I have like a lot of mascaras open right now, but I did really like this. And I'm the type of person that like, you know, I'm not like super wanting to spend a lot of money on a mascara if I can help it, but this is one that like I would, like if I was just feeling like I got some extra money or like, oh, birthday gift to me or something, uh, this would be a good pickup that I'm like actually using every day, actually like the way it looked, so. 
actually a good high-end mascara who knew oh actually i have one i have one more thing this is from rodial the dragon's blood cleansing water i used to use cleansing waters and micellar waters all of the time and then unfortunately i got back into makeup wipes i'm trying to like get out of that habit but sometimes it's just like you know your mental health it's like either we're going to bed with a face of makeup or no makeup you know and sometimes the wipe wins out even though it's not the best option, it's better than the other option. So anyway, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Um, I used to use micellar water all the time though with like cotton rounds and I have like these reusable ones that like are so dingy and disgusting looking, let me tell you that much. Uh, but I don't use it as much so it took forever to go through this. I would just buy like the Bioderma. I just think that one's the best and I would just like really not fuck around with other ones. I think the Garnier one's pretty good too. But there was like a time you guys when Bioderma was like impossible to get here and people would like get it on their like overseas vacations because it was so hard to find in the US. And now it's like so easy to get, so funny. Anyway, okay, those are all my empties. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna go chill out. I'm just struggling right now. Hopefully it'll pass soon. I'm doing all my things. I'm staying consistent, even though it is so tough in all my other ways. And I'm trying to still be consistent and still come out with content for you guys, but it is definitely tough when you're just like struggling day to day. But yeah, I'm not trying to like burden you with this info, so I'm sorry. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are finding ways to make yourselves feel good and regulate yourselves where you can. And I'm gonna go. Oh, goodbye. Bye.